is I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I just want to share with you the two ways to cook your summer corn perfectly. Now the reason why I'm sharing this in a video as opposed to like doing it on stories or in my Instagram where I get asked so much is because I want you to have a place to refer to um, if you've forgotten or whatever the issue may be. Um, every time I cook corn, which is pretty much every weekend in the summer, I share it on my Instagram story and I get an overwhelming amount of people asking, why does the water look like that? Why do you keep the corn in the husk? What are your tips and tricks to, to making really good com summer corn? So, I want to share that with you today. It's really simple and basic, but my friend Holly gave me this tip years ago. I'm talking a good 10 years ago, and I've used it ever since with both methods, and I've never changed it, and I don't think I ever will. So, let's get talking. So, let's talk about boiling your corn, okay? I have four ears of corn here, okay? This is beautiful yellow sweet corn. I'm doing four cobs at a time here because it's all I need for today. If I were doing a big party, I would do, of course, a whole lot more. You put it in a pot, fill the pot three quarters of the way with water. Now what I'm gonna do next, it's gonna shock you and you're gonna say, you don't need to do that if you've got really sweet summer corn. I get that. But we are enhancing that sweet corn flavor. And plus the, the broth that you'll get from this will make the best chowder on the planet, which I'm gonna share with you next week. To your corn, all you need is a tablespoon of sugar. Just trust me with this, it makes the biggest difference ever. It makes your corn so sweet, you cannot believe it. You need a little bit of butter, and you need some milk. So for about every five to six ears of corn, you'll need about a cup of milk. So because I have only four, I'm still gonna do about a cup of milk because I, like I said, I want that broth to give me really good flavor for my chowder. Again, you're gonna tell me, you don't need to do that if you've got sweet corn, trust me me you do it makes it so much better and just think about it you're not using a ton of like sugar and stuff you're using just a little bit to really enhance it and then you need a really well a really good pinch of salt because you want this corn to be well seasoned once you cook your corn like this you boil your corn like this you will find no reason to slather it with butter when it's done I promise you it like this does everything you needed to do and more bring this to a boil let it simmer for about a half an hour or until you are ready for it. Some people like it really crunchy, some people like it really soft, you do you. That is your method for boiled corn. Again, just so good, you cannot even imagine. Grilled corn is a little bit of a different story but somewhat similar. You keep it in the husk because if you go ahead and grill corn out of the husk, what happens is it just dries out. But you need to make sure that that corn doesn't just have grill marks. You want it to be like cooked all the way through. So this is what you do. You take, usually I do this in my sink because I use it, you know, I do it for a lot of people. You fill your sink or your pot or whatever with a lot of water. You want to make sure that your corn is somewhat submerged in there. And then again, a small pinch of sugar and a good heavy pinch of salt. You can do this the night before but I would do it for a minimum of about an hour. You wanna make sure that your corn is like really soaking up as much water as possible so that when you put it on the grill, it starts simmering on the inside due to the water and keeps it really juicy and sweet and delicious, but then you'll also create those grill marks on the outside that give you a little bit of a smoky flavor. To make sure it's submerged, I just, like I said, I do this in my sink because you know, I do it for a lot of people at once. And you just put a plate on top of it, something heavy, to kind of hold down your corn, you'll do, that's perfect. I'm gonna do this for about an hour. In an hour, I'm gonna pop this onto the grill and I'll show you what it looks like when it's there and then I'll show you what my boiled corn looks like when it's done and that's it. Those are your two foolproof way to make your corn this summer that will make it better than anybody else's. I guarantee it. All right, so my corn here boiled for half an hour. Once a half hour is up, I just turn it off and I leave it in that bath. It's a flavorful bath, so I leave it there. Like I said, if you wanna boil it for 10 minutes, boil it for 10 minutes. I don't love my corn super underdone, so I like it for about a half an hour and it's perfect. This one soaked for about an hour and then I popped it on a hot grill and in total it took about 15 minutes just to get grill marks on all sides. And I'm just gonna peel this off, show you. Let's save this guy, it's really hot. This one is gonna need a little bit of butter because obviously it didn't cook in the butter. But look at that, it like, it's like steamy, gorgeous perfection. Doesn't have a lot of grill marks on it because like I said, I didn't cook mine for too, too long. But you just take a piece of the husk, you tie it around like so, gorgeous. Take a little bit of butter because 
in this case butter does make it better. You smear it on there, look at that, it's like melting within. And I am telling you, these are the best way to cook corn. I'm gonna take a bite of each. Mmm. It's like not dry at all. It does have a little bit of the grill flavor, which I love. But you know, if you want, you can keep it on there much longer. This one's ready to go. Hata. This is chief right here of corn. That is the best corn ever. This is the only way you'll need to know how to make corn for the rest of the summer. You'll use these tips and they will make you the queen of the corn on the cob. Go to lauraintheekitchen.com for the written recipe. This is so good. I'll see you next time. Bye.